hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about execute any sql query using wpdb method so in our previous video i showed you this all method related to uh, crude operation in which i showed instead of the delete select um, everything uh, and for those we have some particular method but um, there are times when you have to use some complex SQL query uh, for that WordPress does not have such method I mean whatever is not possible with uh, WPDB methods at that time you can use this uh, method uh, to execute your SQL query so yeah if you are new to this video I would suggest to start with my this playlist crude operations and then come back to this video otherwise keep watching this is my local site I have added my custom plugin over here and I'll be showing you the code in adding inside my custom plugin and this is the custom table which I am demonstrating in my all the videos related to crude operations now let me open the file I was using for all the demonstration so this is the file from my custom plugin so this is my wordpress repo wg content plugins my plugin includes and wpdb methods dot php and last method i showed you that get results now i'm gonna copy this everything and i'll make some change so get query so i'll be we will be executing something when we get query parameter from the url otherwise we don't do that this is for the demonstrate purpose i am adding all the code inside wp head action you should not be doing that instead you should be using wherever it needs so now i'm gonna remove this and uh, what method we have to use to execute any sql query so the method is wpdb query and uh, sorry about that and uh, let me show you one thing so this wpdb global uh, is available in all wordpress hooks um, this is nothing but the object of this class so we don't need to use this method like this you can do you can use this like this as well but uh, as i have defined this as a global so we can use this method like this and this method accepts only one argument which is query you can use any sql query but for the sake of showing you i will use this previous query over here nothing will change it will just um, give us the same result but this is the another way to execute any complex wordpress or any complex mysql query now yeah let me <coughs> so table we have defined over here in this we will get table prefix and then this is the table name and i am fetching first name last name from my table so this is my table i am just fetching first name last name and limit is two so it will return only two results let's try to print 
let me open this in the front nothing happens let's pass this query string into the URL and it is giving us two why Let's try to remove this. It should be, I think it is returning, okay, total number of result. Yeah, this is like, uh, it is So yeah, it returns boolean true for create uh, alter truncate. Yeah, we should not be using select query for this. Maybe yes, I think so. Yeah, let's try to delete uh, something from this uh, query. Yeah, select. Uh, we should not be using the select for this. So let me make delete from table where I'm sorry about that guys where uh, first name is ABC let me delete this to um, Ross where first name equals to ABC now let's try to execute this yeah two, two rows affected so let's try to refresh this and yes it is it has deleted those two rows so yeah, yeah we should not uh, use this for select uh, select query but in other than that we can use this um, query method for WordPress WPDB class and uh, this is how it works if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys